Okay, good morning. Lou Depot back here with a lesson on electrical. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is going to go over the GFI and what it is and what it does versus a conventional outlet. Now, a GFI is ground fault interrupter, or they call them GFCI, ground fault circuit interrupters. Same thing. We're going to call it a GFI. And basically, the difference, I'll show you right now. Smartphone. Dumb phone. Okay? GFI. Smart outlet. Dumb outlet. This is the old conventional outlet versus the GFI. And there's a simple difference. I'm going to show you what it is. Basically, with a regular outlet, you have a black and a hot wire hooked up called the, the hot and the neutral, or L1 and L2. Because... Hot has to go to it, but it has to also return. And there's an equal amount of current. So you have 120 volts all the time. Now, if you were to plug a regular egg beater into this outlet, as I'm going to do right here in front of you, and turn it on it would run. The problem is if this egg beater had to shorten it where the black wire touched your finger or touched metal because it was dropped or it had a factory defect where you could get electrocuted from the metal handle and you were to turn this on and start getting electrocuted, this would keep electrocuting you because it doesn't know anything. It doesn't know that you're being electrocuted and it would never stop and a lot of people have been electrocuted. And that's how come they came out with the GFI for that reason. If you were to plug this into a GFI outlet, why am I having such a hard time, and turn this on and it starts electrocuting you, this will automatically immediately pop and stop it. Now you can't turn this on anymore. And I'll show you why. It's very simple. A GFI also has two wires going to it. A black hot and a white neutral. And when you start using this outlet, it detects the current. If you turn on that egg beater and you start to use two amps, it detects two amps going and the current going back. It's always a constant. If for some reason you started getting electrocuted, the electricity from the hot would now be going here, but instead of going back through the white return wire to the panel box, it would be going up here and through your body into a different ground, probably because your feet are in water or whatever reason you're getting electrocuted, you're grounded. And once it finds a different route back, this white wire has no more return juice going through it, and this knows that. Because it's not constant anymore, and it immediately shuts off. And that's the difference. This little breaker will pop and save you from getting electrocuted. So what do GFIs do? They save your life. You may see them in the walls all the time in the kitchen. But by law or by code, kitchen, garages, bathrooms, anywhere where you may use an electrical device like a blow dryer, a saw, anywhere where you may use an electrical device, they want a GFI there for exactly that reason. It senses the electric going and coming. And if it changes because it's not constant, the only reason it's going to change is because the electric is going somewhere else and someone's getting electrocuted. This knows it and it stops it. The dumb outlet doesn't know it. It's hooked up to a 20 amp breaker because it's a kitchen outlet. And for it to pop that breaker down in the basement, you would have to draw 20 amps, which you're probably never going to do. Unless you got lucky enough to do it and that breaker popped. Which rarely happens. Normally you just keep getting electrocuted. And that's what these do. They save lives. They sense that. They stop the electric flow immediately. Okay? And uh, as you're doing your egg beating and you mobs that are making uh, uh, batter for a cake... All of a sudden it stops beating and the electric goes off. You start cursing out the outlet. Meanwhile, it probably just saved your life. Now that's what the GFI is for. It's to save your life. That's what it does. I mean, they pop for other reasons also. 
But that's the main reason why it's there. And they come in different amperages, 15 and 20 amps, so be careful what you buy. Like I said, garages, kitchens, bathrooms, wherever you use uh, high-powered equipment. Um, for bedrooms and living rooms, they have arc fault preventers, which we're going to go over next.